Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. In today's video we will talk about Theodor Adorno, our second critical theorist of international relations. One of the most influential philosophers of the post-World War II period, the German scholar Theodor Adorno, influenced many scholars working in the relative fields, maybe the most famous one being Jürgen Habermas, whom we will very soon make a video about. Adorno has been extremely critical towards the increasing and expanding consumerist features of the society. He did not only criticize the economic features of the capitalism, but also, and more importantly, the cultural features of the capitalist world system. Adorno, together with Max Horkheimer, coined the term culture industry in their famous and very influential book Dialectic of Enlightenment, published in 1947. The term was simply used to refer a similarity between the contemporary world's consumer products and cultural products. Contemporary cultural products such as popular culture, films, magazines, were being manufactured as if they are in a factory to manipulate the society to a great extent. People who are now way more easily able to consume such products of the popular culture inevitably become more content even if they lived in an economic crisis. The real danger here is that the culture industry creates false psychological needs and those needs can only be satisfied with capitalism and its financial tools. This process creates a mass-produced culture and that is a grave danger for the intellectually and technically more complicated and sophisticated art which satisfies the true psychological needs of the human beings like freedom and happiness. It may sound a little surprising for all the art lovers out there, but Adorno heavily criticized jazz music, along with popular music, for being a part of the culture industry and making the capitalism more aesthetically pleasing for society. Capitalism uses the tool of standardization even for music. Composers use and reuse the same patterns in their music, which Adorno calls as apologetic music, that makes people to feel comfortable and connected to one another through these familiar patterns of standardization and in the end easily obey the status quo of the existing power structures. This is what Adorno tries to attract our attention to. The culture industry, overall, aims to make society obey the capitalist market interests. So, that brings us to the end of this extremely short video about Theodor Adorno. We will continue with Herbert Marcuse as another key representative of the critical theory in our next video. If you like this video, please do not forget to like it, and for our upcoming videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.